Welcome back to the Linux Security Series. In this series, we'll discuss security issues that affect Linux systems and common misconfigurations that lead to them. Privilege escalation is a way that attackers can escalate their privileges on a system. For example, let's say that an attacker has gained access to your web server, but only as a lower privilege user. They cannot read or write sensitive files, execute scripts, or change system configuration. How could they compromise your server and maintain their access there then? If they can find a way to trick the system into thinking that they're the root user, the attacker can carry out much more powerful attacks like reading and writing sensitive files and inserting permanent backdoors into the system. And this is where privilege escalation comes in. Today, let's talk about how attackers can exploit an overprivileged process to escalate their privileges. An overprivileged process is a process that is running with more permission than it requires. There are security risks because if an attacker can hijack that application that runs with high privilege, the attacker can gain its permissions on the system. Let's say that a web application suffers from a classic command injection attack. The application allows users to read a file by submitting the file name via a GET request parameter. The application's PHP source code looks like this. It retrieves the URL parameter from the user and then concatenates it directly into a system command. The application lacks any input validation on the system call and enables attackers to execute arbitrary commands via command injection. For example, the attacker can execute system commands by injecting into the system um, file name parameter. This will cause the application to execute this command, which will print the contents of abc.txt and then list the contents of the current directory. But what if the web application has root privileges? Then the attacker can do a lot worse because the injected command will also run under root privileges. For example, the attacker can use the command injection to add themselves as a root user by editing the etsy password file. Since zero is the UID of the root user, adding a user with the UID of zero will give that user root privileges. The user will have the username of Vicky and an empty password. This command is normally not possible for normal users because only privileged users can modify the Etsy password file. But since the web application is running as root, the command succeeds and the attacker gains root privileges to the system. And overprivileged processes are not only a danger when attackers can execute arbitrary code. Let's say that a path traversal effect attack also exists on this endpoint. The attacker can read files outside of the current directory by using the sequence dot dot slash in the file name parameter to escape the current directory. So the attacker can read the Etsy shadow file with this vulnerability. The Etsy shadow file is a file in Linux systems that contains the hash passwords of system users. It is only readable by privileged users. And if the web application has the permission to view the Etsy shadow file, an attacker can utilize the path traversal vulnerability to read this file. The attacker can then crack the passwords they found in this file to gain access to privileged users' accounts on the system. The attacks that I discussed here are all caused by applications running with too much privilege. To prevent these issues, you should implement the principle of least privilege. The principle of least privilege means that applications and processes should only be granted the privileges they need to complete their task. For example, when an application requires only read access to a file, it should never be granted any write or execute permissions. You should always check if user-facing applications like web servers and file servers are running as root, and you should never use run as root as the default solution to permission issues. You can grant application precisely the permissions that they need instead. This will lower your risk of a system compromise during an attack. Thanks for watching, and next time we'll dive into more privilege escalation techniques that attackers can use to compromise your system.